Sophie Marceau is one of many greats that have graced our beautiful screens. Just like everyone else, she came from the lows and through a journey that's nothing short of extraordinary, she made it to the top class. But there's something really different about this particular actress that makes her stand out from the rest. And that's what we will be exploring in today's video while also sharing with you some of her rare photos. Sophie Marceau, the renowned French actress, captivated audiences with her talent and beauty. But before she graced the silver screen, her journey began in a small town in France where her early life unfolded like a delicate rose blooming in the morning sun. Sophie Marceau was born on November 17, 1966 in the picturesque city of Paris, France. From the moment she took her first breath, it was evident that this little girl possessed a spark of brilliance that would later ignite her path to stardom. Growing up in a modest family, Sophie's childhood was filled with love and support until her parents' separation. Her parents, Benoit and Simone Mopi, provided a nurturing environment that allowed her to dream and explore the depths of her imagination even though they divorced when she was just nine. They recognized her innate talent from an early age and encouraged her to pursue her passion for acting. As a child, Sophie exuded a natural charm that enchanted those around her. With her radiant smile and expressive eyes, she had an uncanny ability to convey emotions beyond her tender years. Her mother enrolled her in local acting classes where she honed her skills and developed a deep love for the craft. Sophie's determination and dedication were evident even in her early years. She immersed herself in the world of theater, eagerly absorbing every ounce of knowledge she could grasp. Her infectious enthusiasm resonated with her mentors who saw her potential and nurtured her talents. At the age of 14, Sophie's life took a remarkable turn when she auditioned for a role in the film La Boom. The casting directors were captivated by her raw talent and innate ability to breathe life into her characters. Sophie secured the role of Vic Baraton, a young girl navigating the complexities of adolescence, and her performance was nothing short of extraordinary. La Boom catapulted Sophie Marceau into the limelight, trusting her into the international stage. The film's success paved the way for her meteoric rise as one of France's most beloved actresses. Overnight, she became an icon for teenagers worldwide, capturing hearts with her radiant presence and authentic performances. Despite her newfound fame, Sophia remained grounded and focused on her craft. She understood the importance of continuous growth and refinement, and she pursued her studies alongside her blossoming career. Her unwavering commitment to self-improvement led her to study theater at the prestigious Cours Florent, a private French drama school in Paris further haunting her skills under the guidance of seasoned professionals. Following the success of La Poum, Sophie Starr continued to rise. She took on challenging roles, immersing herself in characters that explore the complexities of human emotions. With each performance, she showcased her versatility, effortlessly transitioning from light-hearted comedies to intense dramas. Her dedication to her craft and unwavering commitment to authenticity set her apart as a true artist. In 1985, Sophie Marceau collaborated with renowned director Andrzej Zulowski for the film L'Amour Brack, which means mad love. Her portrayal of a woman entangled in a passionate and destructive love affair demonstrated her maturity as an actress. As her career progressed, Sophie Marceau sought out international projects showcasing her talent to a broader audience, and soon enough, in 1995, she starred in the epic blockbuster Braveheart, directed by Mel Gibson. Her portrayal of Princess Isabel, torn between duty and love, garnered critical acclaim. Sophie's elegance and grace brought a regal presence to the screen, leaving an indelible mark on audiences worldwide. Beyond her acting prowess, Sophie Marceau also ventured into the world of directing. In 2002, she released her directorial debut, Speak to Me of Love. Throughout her career, she effortlessly navigated between French and international cinema, showcasing her talent and leaving an enduring impression on the world stage. And her contributions to the film industry have not gone unnoticed. She has been honored with numerous accolades, including prestigious awards such as the Caesar Award and the Legion of Honor. Sophie has also had her fair share of romantic partners throughout the years. In 1985, she found herself entangled in a passionate relationship with the talented filmmaker Andrzej Zulowski. Known for his exceptional writing and directing skills, Zulowski left an indelible mark on in the entertainment and film industries with remarkable words like cosmos and fidelity. Sadly, their love eventually crumbled leading to their divorce in 2001. Shortly after parting ways with Zulowski, Marceau embarked on a new chapter in her love life. 
she entered into a relationship with producer Jim Lemley, and in June 2002, they welcomed their daughter, Juliette, into the world. However, their romance eventually came to an end in 2007. Lemley, known for his contributions as a producer on films like Wanted and his appearances in Airborne and Maverick, crossed paths with Marceau while working on the film Anna Karenina, where she portrayed the titular character. Marceau's romantic journey continued with chef Cyril Lignac, the owner of the renowned restaurant Le Chardonnay in Paris's 11th arrondissement. From 2014 to 2016, they were swept up in a passionate love affair, but unfortunately, their connection didn't withstand the test of time. However, it was in 2007 that Marceau encountered Christopher Lambert and it was love at first sight for both of them. In an interview, Marceau boldly affirms her belief in true love at first sight, highlighting the genuine and instantaneous connection she experienced with Lambert. Their relationship didn't interfere with her professional lives, as Marceau explained that the support and care provided on a film set made it akin to staying in a luxurious hotel for five months. After dating for a few years, Marceau and Lambert decided to tie the knot in 2012. Sadly, their marriage wasn't a blissful one and they ultimately chose to divorce in 2014. Publicly announcing their separation on July 11, 2014, the couple parted ways, leaving behind their two children, Juliet Lemley and Vincent Zulowski. Christopher Lambert, known for his acting and producing prowess, has made his mark in films such as Tarzan and Lord of the Apes, as well as in the realm of video games with his notable involvement in Mortal Kombat. No doubt, Sophie Marceau's romantic journey has been filled with passion, heartbreak, and unexpected encounters. From her relationship with the accomplished filmmaker Andrzej Zulowski to her whirlwind romance with Christopher Lambert, each chapter in Marceau's love life has left a lasting impact on her personal and professional growth. Beyond her professional success, Sophie Marceau remains a cherished figure in the hearts of her fans. Her down-to-earth nature and genuine warmth have endeared her to people from all walks of life. She uses her platform to advocate for causes she believes in, lending her voice to raise awareness about social issues and making a positive impact in the world. Through her captivating performances and undeniable allure, she has created a lasting legacy that will be cherished by generations to come. Sophie Marceau, the enchanting star who illuminated the silver screen, will forever be celebrated for her extraordinary journey and her undeniable place in the pantheon of cinematic legends. If you enjoyed this video, there's a good chance you'll also enjoy the one showing on your screen right now. Click, enjoy, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you on the next one.